Hello, hello guys. Happy Monday. Um, I'm Lindsay. I am a hypnotherapist and success mindset coach. And I am here as always with my lovely co-host Kelsey Aida, who is a self-empowerment master, self-love teacher, best, not best-selling author, but she's an author. Are you a best-selling author? Uh, we would have to check on Amazon, but in we- my mind I am. <laughs> We're talking. To, we're talking to future Kelsey, where she is a best-selling author, um, and we are here extra excited today because we have a super cool guest, Nikki Golly. She is a micronutrient educator, nutritionist, and a supplementologist, which she tells me is a made-up word, but I know it means something. So we're going to talk about it and much, much more. Um, we haven't really had a nutritionist on the show, so I'm really excited to have Nikki here to talk about all kinds of things. She's got everything we need to know basically about how to start getting healthier today and really making our bodies a priority. Um, Hi, Nikki. Say hi to everyone. Oh, hello. Hello. Thank you for having me on. I'm so excited. Yes, me too. Um, Usually the way we start um, the guest interviews off is we just kind of ask you how you got into this work. And I know I'm super interested in it. I know a little bit about you, but I really um, would love to hear more about how you decided that this was your path. Yes, yes. Nutrition, as, as many people find their jobs is because they have internal things, internal drives or something nutritionally wrong. In my case, I had a major allergy that I did not know about for 27 years. Dang. It caused issues in my body that I didn't quite know what was happening. Like I thought it was normal to go to the bathroom like once a week, two, eight, twice a week. And it was like, oh, okay. So I learned more through that journey. And then I got a job in a supplement store, which changed things dramatically for the better. And then I got my nutrition degree, which just kept me going, kept me mm-hmm inspiring and then being able to actually help people with my knowledge has been so uplifting. I absolutely love giving people tools that having clients come up to me like crying, like, oh my God, you've changed my life. It just, it just fuels me every day. It's super interesting when you said like, I thought it was normal, like how many of us, and I know most of the themes of all of our shows have to do with like, you don't know it's not normal until you see someone else that has a different way of life or, or, or exactly. acts differently or has a different routine. And you're like, wait, that's allowed. Wait, wait, right? we could do that. Well, that's normal. Yeah. yeah that's, 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 that's normal for you. Yeah. And so one of my big things is to educate people yeah. on talking about going to the bathroom, talking about digestional health. It's such a taboo. Like you don't learn it in school. There's, it's just like, I had no idea that my body wasn't working the way it should. Yeah, I had no idea. So it, it has definitely fueled me to educate a lot of younger populations in schools and after school programs and things like that. that yeah, it's love. it's funny. I learned a while ago, uh, it was on the doctors or something, and they were talking about like, if you're ever wondering if you're pooping the right amount of time, look at your kid. Because babies and children come out knowing exactly how to go, when right. to go, how often they need to go. Their bodies yeah. are working like at the optimum level of performance. So if it's off from that, then you probably need to take a look at what's going on. They don't okay. have all this, the junk that we normally feed ourselves and the tolerances that we've built up over the years, you know? So yeah. what kind of, if you don't mind me asking, what kind of, al- you said it was an allergy? Yes. So specifically dairy. Wow. I've, okay. I've been you know, from breastfeeding, my mom actually gave me formula at about a month, which was dairy. And I had that up until I was 27. I kept learning again, that was not life. Normal life was going number two. Obviously that's what we're talking Mm -hmm. about, right? Poop. Um, We're talking about poop right now. Pooping. Pooping (laughs) is so important. So important. I, yeah, I thought it was normal to go twice a week and that was like, and it'd be difficult. And the more I learned, the more I kind of had some kind of blood tests and I had other things that were checking out. And then people are like, Hey, I, I had a Dr. Diadamo. He does a eat right for your blood type. He's written a book. And I was working with a group that was doing testing and stuff for him. So I tested and they're like, Hey, there's a very high possibility that you're allergic to dairy. And I'm like, no way. I could not live without my Greek yogurt or <sighs> Cheese. Cheese, dude. I cheese. Ah, cheese. Cheese is life. It's so good. I'm not gonna lie. I definitely <laughs> miss cheese. Definitely miss cheese. But 
I finally did it and I gave it up and I was like, okay, I'll listen. I'll see what happens. And I gave it up and it was about mm, 10 days in. I was going to do 10 to 14 days, I think 14. And my life shifted. Wow. I started going to the bathroom. And the big thing is that I've always had allergies my whole life, like Mm -hmm. other allergies, like um, runny nose. Yeah. Watery, watery eyes. eyes. Yeah. Like, I love my cat, but I've been allergic to him forever. And I would like pick him up and then I have to like wash my hands and just deal with the sneezes and the coughs. Wow. It's like, whatever. That's a dedicated, That's that is a dedicated cat lover. Wow. <laughs> like an animal is like, I love him. Yeah. Every, like every animal's in dust in spring. And I stopped sneezing. And I never realized and put the two together. I mean, this was even after like, in my nutrition degree, in this learning process, but it was like, wow. So taking something out that I was highly allergic to that I was pretty much eating at every meal because you'd be surprised that wheat and dairy is in everything, everything, unless you're specifically looking for it not to be there. And it was just completely (laughs) life-changing. Like I said, I'd stop sneezing, my eyes stopped itching, and it was like, what has changed? So it only took you 10 days. 10 days of completely not doing it. Granted, I had a nutrition degree, so I was able to, because it hides with a yeah. lot of names. Yeah. Different products. You've got yep. whey, you've got casein, you've got, I mean, so many different did additives. You, did it. you have a physical, because I know like psychological withdrawal is a thing where you're just like craving it, craving it, craving it, craving it. But did you have like physical symptoms when you stopped? Because I know people that stop sugar, just cold turkey, and they go through like withdrawal <laughs> symptoms. Sugar is its own thing. It sugar is, is, yeah, its it's a beast. So sugar, sugar sends off the same reward signals in your brain as cocaine. Yeah, yep. So it is more of a drug opposed to dairy. Granted, it's more like a want. Mm-hmm. Oh, it's like a routine thing. Like yeah, cream cheese or like cheesecake <laughs> is hands down. I still haven't found a, a replacement for cheesecake. That yeah. And. Yeah, but it's not quite the same as sugar. So sugar has its okay. own, like an actual physical addiction. Yeah. Well, that's good to know. And it's yeah. interesting that you gave yourself a time limit because a lot of well, people are like, well, I could never just give it up. But you can give anything up for 10 or 14 days and yeah. then so notice how you don't want it after that. You know? Exactly. So that's what the biggest change. And that's what I deal with my clients a lot is it's called an elimination diet. And you have to actually give yourself a full 10 days to completely eliminate it from your body because it needs to, you, your body needs time to process it out. Mm-hmm. Like if you eat, don't eat it for one day, you still have it in your digestive system. It's still causing issues if it does cause issues. Yeah. Especially doing it an elimination. It usually I say 10 days is minimum, but two weeks is a good measure. And then you reintroduce and see what happens and see how it feels. And things Got like it. That. And you didn't even get to the reintroduction part, did you? <laughs> You're just like, no, I, I noticed such a difference when I stopped, yeah. but yeah, I, I've definitely reintroduced it a few times. You're like, Oh, can't be it. Like I've got it. Or just, yeah. In, Cause even though it causes issues, you still give in. Cause it's, I mean, yeah. It tastes so darn good. <laughs> yeah. So I guess the first place, if I'm just coming to you as somebody who doesn't know, which I kind of am like, what's the first step for somebody who's like, I think there's something wrong, but I don't know like what it is. Like, what is the first thing you want them to know or the first thing you teach them when it comes to health and wellness? Nutrition and health? Honestly? Yeah, that's the one. <laughs> I usually back up and the first thing that I talk about with everyone is water. The importance of water. The importance of actually drinking enough water. A lot of times people are like, oh yeah, I drink enough water or I get it in this or I get it in that. And the first line of defense is detoxing your body through <laughs> As food. Kelsey takes a drink of water. <laughs> right? There you go. I was like, I don't have my water bottle on me. I would be too. But it is so, so important. Water. Water is key because you want to flow out some of the toxins in your body. And the mm-hmm. first and, oh, look, I have there it, is. it just appeared. Perfect. Thank you. <laughs> Magic. Uh, yeah. Water is so, so, so key. So that's the first thing that I always go when I talk to anyone because it's easily overlooked. It is. Commonly fixes a lot of issues. It's funny because, go ahead, Kelsey. I was going to say, it's funny because 
I feel like everybody when it comes to nutrition or most people generally know what to do and what to stay away from, but really it comes down to actually doing it. Like we all know Mm -hmm. we should be drinking a lot of water. We all know sugar is bad. We all know that dairy is not compatible with a lot of people's bodies because it's from cows and we're humans and that makes no sense. Right. And we also know that like vegetables and fruits are really good for us and we know all these things, but it's like, if you're not doing them and living in integrity with what you know, then the information is useless. So how do you help Mm -hmm. to motivate your clients to really integrate the information instead of just like knowing it, knowing more things that they're not going to do anything with? Yeah, honestly, it, it's the accountability for one actually having having someone like as a coach, I'm sure. And then the, the thing that I do that sets, I think sets me apart from a lot of others is that I make it fun. Yeah. So I have certain days of the week that go with specific nutrition lessons. Like we'll start with Thirsty Thursday, which (laughs) every time Thirsty Thursday comes around, it's like, how have I been doing on water? What have I been drinking? So doing little fun daily new mom. It's so funny. The 22 year old me is like, that's a theme at a bar I used to go to. Right. (laughs) Yes, I have redubbed a few of them, <laughs> specifically Thirsty Thursday. Yeah, it's n- – and I talked to people. Not like, tequila, it's not guys. It's about alcohol. It's about yeah. water. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I don't want to know that how much funny. tequila – or maybe I do, but <laughs> that's a different Maybe. <laughs> but, yeah, water. So try to make it fun and then just have that accountability. And mm-hmm. I, I'm a big one. I'm a science nerd. If you don't, I mean, you can't look at me, but <laughs> – I am definitely a science person. So kind of getting into the science with people, giving them the full scope of what things mm-hmm. look like to make it a little bit easier, but then it's the accountability and making it fun, I think is. Yeah. Well, with the water thing, if anybody's interested, I'm terrible at drinking water. Well, no, let's say yesterday I was terrible at drinking water, but every day I'm getting better at drinking water. Perfect. Good and job. honestly, it's a simple app that I got on my phone. Someone suggested it to me a couple years ago and I've had it on and off. I've been really good at it ever since, but it's it's literally just called water reminder. You download it on any smartphone and you just type in how much water you want to drink that day, which goes by height and weight. It's not like the full blanket eight cups a day these days. It's like, how big are you? (laughs) How much water are you actually getting? That's that's the key. Yeah. And, and you can keep track of it throughout the day and it counts coffee. It counts well, the wine is like a negative. <laughs> so okay. if you have any okay, alcohol, yeah. it will right take off some ounces. But yeah. it's been really fun for me to like fill up the 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 uh, the cup, so to speak, of the water okay. throughout the day. And then I complete it and I have a little celebration. So if you guys are looking for a fun way to do it, like on your own, that's a really fun way that I've been able to keep yeah. track of my liquid intake. It's really helpful. There's an app for everything. There is an app for everything. There is not an app that can get you to do the thing, but there's, there are apps that can help you be encouraged and motivated to do it. Yes, that is very true. And, and it like, does have to come back to you. Or things yeah. like that. But it comes back to, you can't say, yes, I drank water and not drink the water because that's right? nobody any good, honestly. <laughs> You're only hurting yourself, man. It's true. It's true. <laughs> yeah. So water is definitely important. Um, Let's see. How do people, what's the most common thing I guess people come to you for? Do you have any themes? Usually it's digestional, but they don't quite know it's digestional. (laughs) It's like uh, they have a chronic acne problem Mm. or I've had a few people that have come to me that have broken out in hives and everything all comes back to our second brain and our second brain is our digestive system. The other thing is brain fog. That's another common very, very, very common. It's because people aren't eating right and they're like, why, why can't I think at work or what's going on? And, ah, so I have, it's real, whoop, lost my train of thought. Okay. <laughs> brain fog. Speaking of brain, brain fog, fog, it happens to the best exactly. of us. <laughs> so that yes, brain funny. fog. Oh, see, that's exactly, it was perfectly timed. I meant it. <laughs> but what's your excuse, Miss Healthy? <laughs> hey, she's right? a person. I don't too, know. You know? We're all just people. We all slip sometimes. We're twenty first century people. We have stuff going on all the time. Right. I I tell Um, my clients that too. I was like, I'm a nutritionist, not a Nazi. I understand (laughs) are human, and that I'm here to help you. And we both make mistakes. Oh my gosh. Move past it and have fun. Yeah. 
That is too funny. Well, let's take a break real quick. We have a sponsor to get to, and this is a really, really good one. You guys have probably heard of this one, so I'm excited to talk about it. The sponsor for this portion of the show is Warby Parker. If you haven't heard of Warby Parker, where have you been? It is an amazing company that uh, offers glasses and now actually contact lenses for those people that don't want to like waste a ton of money on frames. They're super stylish and cute. Their belief is that eyewear shouldn't cost you more than a plane ticket or a new iPhone, which I completely agree with being a glasses wearer myself. And by circumventing traditional channels and engaging with customers directly through their website and retail stores, Warby Parker is able to provide high quality, good looking prescription eyewear at a fraction of the price. Um, I heard about Warby Parker a couple years ago. And so when we, when we connected with them, I was really excited to talk about it. They offer this at home try on of like five pairs of lenses and you guys get the chance to do this for free. So their glasses start at $95, including prescription lenses, which also include anti-glare and anti-scratch coatings, which is always extra at the eyeglass doctor, always. So free, they have the free home try-on program, like I mentioned. So you order five pairs of glasses and try them on for free for five days. There's no obligation to buy them. You just get to see how cute you look in them. Um, they ship free and include free uh, prepaid return shipping label. So you guys can go to warbyparker.com forward slash vibe in to take the quiz and order your free at home try on. They also have what's called Scout by Warby Parker. It's this brand new line of contact lenses. Like I mentioned, they're comfortable, breathable and affordable daily contact lenses made from super moist material that resists drying for for lasting hydration and comfort. You guys can order a trial pack that includes six days worth of contacts for only five bucks and then receive $5 off your next Warby Parker order. So once again, you guys can learn more at warbyparker.com slash vibin. And by the way, the at-home try-on program is so easy. You just go take like a really like quick quiz about the kind of style you're looking for and the kind of glasses you wear and what you need. And they give you all these amazing choices based on it's almost like a personality test. They give you all these different styles based on what you want. And it's really, really cool. Kelsey, you ordered yours, right? Yeah, they make some really, really cute glasses. And I'm like always someone who loves to try on glasses. So if I was <laughs> like ordering online, I'm like, man, that sucks all the fun out of buying glasses. But it doesn't with Warby Parker because they send you a bunch of glasses to try on. So yeah, and fun. I'm the kind of person that thinks I never look good in glasses, which is why I always wear contacts. But I had a really hard time picking my favorite because I liked so many different pairs from, from this company. So go go check it out, guys. Warbyparker.com forward slash V-I-B-I-N. Also, it's worth mentioning that for every pair of glasses sold, Warby Parker distributes a pair of glasses to someone in need. And we love when our sponsors do this. And that's part of the reason why we collaborate with them is because these companies are really making the world a better place. So if you're going to buy glasses somewhere anyway, you might as well buy them from Warby Parker because they're going to be cuter, probably cheaper, and you're going to do something good for someone else. So yeah, do good and look good and feel good. Right, Nikki? Let's talk about health. Yes, I love that. That's really (laughs) cool. I did not know that. Yeah, I didn't, I, I know, it was when we learned that, I was like, dang, I love when our sponsors do that. It's fantastic. Yeah. Um, so I want to talk about, you, you said, you mentioned the second brain. Now, I want to kind of weave this in because I'm actually very curious. We had somebody on, shout out to Nina Boyce, who was an earlier guest on our show, who came on about hormone imbalance and talked about how a lot of these symptoms that we don't know are connected could be connected to the hormones. Now, I know you that's not your line, but you must, you must have some information on how those two are connected. So I know that hormone imbalance can cause acne and gut health. So I guess, how do you distinguish which one it is, or is it always like a mixture of the two? Do you know there, what I'm saying? That's a, yeah, that's a very good, hormones are important. Hormones, and then the crazy part about hormones is that we get so so many hormones from our food. True. And that kind of throws balances off way out of whack, far, far more than other things. One of my big, since you talk about hormones before I go into the digestive health, is plastics. I'm a big anti-plastic promoter. This freaks sure. me out so because, hard. Because... <laughs> Because plastic, BPA, yeah, mimics estrogen in the body. And if you're getting, if you're drinking plastic bottles every day or eating out of plastic tubs or heaven forbid microwaving in plastic, please take it upon yourself right now if you're listening to this. Do never, never microwave anything in plastic. You are killing yourself, so please don't. But 
She okay, went straight to that, killing yourself. Dang. Seriously. It's, Are you it's, passionate it's, about it or something? Ooh, slightly. <laughs> Can you tell? <laughs> yeah. It's good. It's a good thing to be passionate about because it's seriously everywhere. Uh, there's a meme going around. I don't know how true it is, but it said like every year we basically eat a full plate of plastic. Ew. Like it accumulates that much plastic in our bodies. That's in our nuts. Food. Well, yeah, that's what, yeah, that's what I mean. Like from the food and from the waters and from all these different areas and ways that we're ingesting it, we're yeah. basically sitting down to dinner with a heaping pile of plastic. Plastic. <laughs> yeah. Yay! Disgusting. It's microplastics because that's the thing about plastics is they don't break down. Right. They break up. They break up into tiny pieces and they end up in our food supply. So besides yeah. plastic, which does mimic estrogen, which I think is a lot of our testosterone and estrogen problems come from mm -hmm. that because we need such a minute amount of hormones, like very, very small. So if you're getting a lot in your foods, you're getting more than the body's actually making, which throws things off. Mm -hmm. but exactly. Back to the food and the digestion part, mainly what I focus on is the foundation. Mm -hmm. So yes, hormones are amazing. And I have specific doctors that I send clients to, depending on where in the country they are. But I focus on the foundation focus on drinking more water, eating more fiber, eating fruits and vegetables, those things that are going to detox the body no matter what's going on. So is there a way through healthy eating and detoxing to get rid of the plastics or are they just going to be in us forever? <laughs> well, your body does process it. You're processing it oh, out. Oh, right. Yeah. So the more you're detoxing, the more things that you're doing to detox your body, i.e. water, number mm -hmm. one still. I heard water with lemon does like a magnified job of detoxing the body. Have you heard that? I like water with lemon. There's a lot of positive things about it. It's an But alkaline. then you get the lemon with the pesticides all over it and you're like, am I really, is it worth it? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, honestly, you can jump down any specific thing. You can jump down a rabbit hole and find out that everything they're eating and oh, everything they're God. drinking is awful, but it's really... You got to kind of take it all with a grain of salt. You got to yeah. live your life. You got to enjoy your life still, but just focus on the things that you can do to prevent diseases, to help yourself yeah. the most. That's what we should focus on. Yeah. More. I really like and appreciate your focus on what works and not yeah. so much avoiding what doesn't work because exactly. you could spend your whole life trying to avoid things and live in fear, which is not yeah. healthy. And it comes from a really low vibrational energetic state. So instead yeah. coming from this place of, what can I do to optimize my health? What can I do to optimize the way that my body functions? What can I do to love myself more? And if these bad things are going into my body, uh, which inevitably they will because we live on earth and it's polluted. So how can I make it easiest for my body to still function at an optimal level? So I really like yeah. and appreciate that perspective a lot. Awesome. Yeah, it's yeah, because it's really about what you focus on. And yeah. I'm sure yeah. you've talked about this with other clients. It's, you want to focus on the good things. You don't want to focus on the bad because you're obviously going to see more bad. You're going to. Yeah. yeah. And if we're coming from like a manifesting mindset, yeah. what you focus on where, uh, what, what's that saying? Like where attention goes, energy flows or something yeah. like what yeah. you're focusing on is what you're creating. So if you're focusing yeah. on everything you have to eliminate, which I know you have to do to a degree, but if that's the main part of your focus, yeah. then you're just going to be living in scarcity, living in yeah. fear, feeling sorry for yourself. <laughs> I can't eat this. I can't eat that. But instead the more empowered way to look at it is, is I'm choosing this instead. I'm choosing this because it feels good. I'm choosing to eat these things because they help my body. It's just yeah. such a different sponsoring energy. So I'm really glad we touched on that. Yeah. Power yeah. of intention. Yeah. You know what I've started doing is Deepak Chopra all, always talks about how like time. with sickness and illness and stuff, he's like, just say to yourself, you're not compatible with this illness. Like your body's not compatible and mm -hmm. it's all the power of intention. So if you could like weave that, I've been kind of doing that with food too. Like if I know, you know, it's not, the healthiest, or if I know it was like shipped and processed in a plastic bag or something, I'll say, I, I, my body's only going to take what it needs and get rid of the rest. Like, I think you should just be doing that anyway, because yes. you're, you're always listening to what you say and your thoughts and stuff. So why not, you know, why not just do it anyway? The power whatever. is powerful, like mm -hmm. really, really powerful. So if you're focusing on something that's quote unquote bad for you and you're sending good vibes to it, or you're yeah. going like, okay, I'm, I know that this might be not the best thing for me, but it's going to satisfy my soul. And I'm really happy to be eating this chocolate cake. Like, yeah. Oh my God. I get so happy when I eat chocolate cake. <laughs> you have no idea. I get so, I like, 
I, I wouldn't be surprised if my body sucks all the vitamins out of it just from the joy that I feel when I eat it. <laughs> and there, there is a lot of power in that. Yeah, it might not be good for, like, quote unquote, good for you, but yeah. if it satisfies, and I mean, you're getting something out of it regardless. Yeah. So focus on the good. Um, mm-hmm. Yep. You, you mentioned on your website, I think it was your website or your YouTube channel, the, is it Four Foundations of Health or the Foundations of Health? Okay. So that's, that's the basis of most of my work is foundations. Foundations. So, foundational, going to the root cause of a lot of things instead of right. about like one specific thing like, all right, dairy's bad for you or wheat's bad for you or all these different things. Yeah. You focus on what's good putting in more good in your body is going to make a huge, huge effect. And then, I know what we can talk about. Okay. Finish. I, I got something really juicy. <laughs> yes, Go ahead. Okay. And then one of the biggest things is I call myself a micronutrient educator. Yeah. I talk about this a lot. People are like, they look at me with totally blank face and like, okay, yes, I'm glad you're okay with that. But okay. So it is micronutrients are the vitamins and minerals and the very small phytonutrients and stuff that we get from our food, especially plants. Mm-hmm. We need to eat more plants. That's as a nutritionist, of course, I'm going to talk about eating more fruits and vegetables because that kind of goes with the, the territory, but it's really about what those vitamins and minerals do for the body. Like specifically magnesium. Magnesium is one of my favorite. Most people are deficient in magnesium, but magnesium is used in over 350 chemical reactions within the body. Wow. 350 different reactions in the body, but yet most people are super deficient in it and that it causes all kinds of different things. I've had people with anxiety. I've had people with restless legs. I've had people with all these different things. And some people will walk into a supplement store, which is where I started my journey. And they ask like, what do you do? And there are so many supplements out there, but the supplements, there are amazing supplements out there, but definitely get them from somebody that you trust. I wouldn't just Google it and buy it on Amazon because there's so many products out there that don't have what they say in it because the supplement industry is completely unregulated. So there's no oversight. So you say like, oh my gosh, I'm going to do this magnesium and this is great. I've only got, I mean, it's only $5 and I can get 300 capsules. I'm like, okay, well, the, the odds that you're getting sawdust are really high. Oh and my god, company, no. Yeah, because the company So you're is t- hold make on. A so profit. just to be clear, you're talking about just like buying vitamins at Target. Yes. Don't do that, you're saying. Don't do that. I I Cuz I've been doing that my whole god love in life. I would not <laughs> recommend buying supplements from any big box stores personally. Dang. Okay, see my brain just exploded. <laughs> Game no. changer for Lindsay. <laughs> I mean, it makes sense. You know, you, you just, you just assume that what you're buying is what's, what's, what's yep. in there. And that's, <laughs> that's one of my passions is that's why I call myself a supplementologist, which is I've been studying heavily. I've been studying supplements for over 15 years. So the wow. study of supplements is a very, very important, but yet overlooked. And most people are like, oh yeah, if it's in the store, that's great. It'll be fine. Yeah. So here's a question then. Um, Real quick, before we go to our next little break, what are like your top three to five magnesium rich foods that you recommend for people? Green leafy veggies. Like spinach? Three. I'm just going to say three words. Green (laughs) leafy veggies. And the greener, the better. Cool. Spinach comes to mind. Spinach, collard greens, Swiss chard. Kale. Yeah, even broccoli not mm. quite the leaf. Everything my kids won't touch. Broccoli. Lovely. What about when you drink them in juice form? That comes with a, def- a different issue. I like juices. The only thing about juices is fiber. My favorite oh, yeah. word, fiber. <laughs> so when you get out, when you do juices, it's not quite the same because you're getting rid of the fiber. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So better in a smoothie than a juice, but the best is just yeah. to eat it. Correct. Got it. Yep. Yep. Nice. Cool. Well, speaking of feeling good and treating your body with love, um, we're really excited to talk about Feels, which is a CBD company that will ship 
the CBD right to your door. So you don't have to leave. You don't have to go like to some weird place that like randomly sells CBD because now they all do. And <laughs> like Nikki said, you cannot trust these stores. So this is a brand <laughs> that specializes in only CBD and their premium CBD will keep your head clear and help you feel your best. Um, CBD has been proven to greatly reduce anxiety, pain, and sleepiness. It has all sorts of benefits. Um, I know when I've been experimenting with my relationship with this um, product that it definitely does help me to feel relaxed. And it's cool because on the little bottles, it'll say like, take this much to feel more relaxed, take this much if you're trying to go to sleep and you have trouble sleeping, whatever it is, this is um, basically like, um, I would think of it as a friendly plant helper that can help support your lifestyle. Um, so feels is cool because they ship directly to your doorstep, which is awesome. Um, you just place a few drops right under your tongue and feel the difference within minutes. Um, if you're new to CBD, Feels offers a free CBD hotline and text message support to help guide your personal experience. Feels works naturally to help you feel better, so there's no high hangover or addiction or anything weird like that. Um, join the Feels community to get Feels delivered to your door every month, and you'll save money on every order, and you can pause or cancel your order anytime. So it's cool because it's a subscription. You don't always have to run to the store to get it. Like, it'll just keep coming unless you change it otherwise. And yeah, we're really liking it. So Feels has me feeling my best every day, and it can help you too. Become a member today by going to feels.com slash vibin, and you'll get 50% off your first order with free shipping. That's feels, F-E-A-L-S dot com slash vibin to become a member and get 50% off automatically taken off your first order with free shipping. So fun story. Yesterday, my baby spilled an entire cup of coffee on my couch. An entire cup of coffee on my couch. <laughs> oh, and no. so I'm like, it's part of the couch that doesn't come off. Like the cushions come off, but the back of the couch where everything's attached and there's just coffee with cream and sugar all over. And I'm so stressed out just thinking about it. But yesterday I was like really stressed out because I'm like looking on Ashley Furniture, like who's not a sponsor, by the way, just was true. And I'm like looking at couches and I'm like, we have to get a new couch. And my husband's like, you need to sit down. Take some CBD. Take some feels. Right now. <laughs> I swear. And so I'm like, okay. So then I just took some and I did feel better. I was like, okay, now I can actually think rather than just like freak out over my couch. Oh, but now I'm like thinking about it again. But yeah, feels is great, guys. It's fantastic. <laughs> Wonderful. So Coffee you and a baby else. do not mix. <laughs> but CBD is here to help you. Anyway. Um, yeah, I want to talk to you. Did, were we were we in the middle of a of a topic before we read? We were talking um, about leafy greens and getting more magnesium in, and yeah, juice doesn't have that much fiber, so it's not the best way. But yep. you can blend it up, right? Like you throw it in a blender and just drink it that yeah. way, rather yep, than that's perfect. Because you're not now, when you think about a juicer. If you juice something, you get the juice, but all the rest of it comes out the back. Yeah all the fiber and all the goodness the husk. comes out the back of a juicer. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. So when a blender, there's nothing that comes out of it. So you're, you're getting all of it. It's a little bit different. I wouldn't say to just blend everything that you eat just because what a blender. You digest it differently, don't you? Exactly. What a blender can do and what your mouth can do are two completely different things. Yeah. So you're actually getting a little bit more you're getting a little bit more nutrition and a little bit more fiber unless it's not broken down as much. Yeah. If you are eating it opposed to blending it or juicing it. So that's interesting. I always, do you ever have people come to you and say like, how do I get my children to eat more vegetables? Yes. Okay. Can we answer that real quick? Cause I might and be, I'm asking for a friend. <laughs> oh yes. Yes. I get it. Quoted air quotes. I get it. hundred <laughs> percent. Um, there is a couple different ways, but one of my favorites is from the company that I learned about through the tower garden, which we'll talk about in a minute. Yes. After, um, is they actually have fruit. There's a, it's a company that has fruits and vegetables in a capsule or a gummy. Whoa. And it is been a game changer for my life as well as many of my clients' lives. And I can't not talk about it because it's but does it lose something when you make it in a gummy form or a capsule form like if it loses something when you blend it it's got to lose something in a gummy right 
and slightly it's going to lose a little bit in the gummy but it's it's that give and take system like yeah. hey, if i'm going to make something into a candy that my kid is going to love yeah gonna- yeah might as well put some oh yeah, i see exactly. so it's like it's like a tree that happens good. to have vegetables in it as well exactly that's yeah. cool well, okay it's designed, I gotcha. it's designed specifically for kids and the company's been around for over 25 years been making the product i think the gummies they've been making for almost that long but the capsules, I personally like the capsules better, but I actually take it every day. It's basically, what it is, is pulverized. So they, they chop everything up. They use the seeds, they use the peel. So I don't know, many people don't know, but half or more than half of the nutrition in an orange is actually in the peel. I have read that. Isn't that so, the same with bananas too or something crazy? Like the peel I, is always like has so, the But it's the stuff that you don't eat that you peel off because it's nasty and bitter and weird. Yeah. So this company, because it is similar to the CBD, it's kind of one of those ships directly to your door. It You have to get it through a representative. You can't go in and get it from mm-hmm. a store because the customer service is key with the company. Yeah. But since it's that type of model, they actually buy out the entire farms. Since they can buy out the entire farms, they can let the produce and vegetables, or at least the fruits and vegetables, um, vine ripen. So it's not picked green. It's not shipped across the country before anything's done with it. It's vine ripened until it's like falling off the vine, which is the point in which most of the nutrition actually gets into the fruit or vegetable is in the last couple days before it's like perfectly ready to harvest. Dang. Unlike a lot of the stuff that we get at the grocery store, that is picked two, three weeks, a month before it's actually ripe. So therefore it can be transported to the grocery store. Also so didn't know that, never really yeah. thought about it. Ah, Isn't that yes. interesting? Yes. So that's one thing that I think has been a game changer about this product because since it is, everything's vine ripened, processed within six hours, you're getting into your system. And in because, the best form, yeah. Yeah, so, and then the it's like a, proprietary way that they do it but they basically use the entire fruit and they get all the water out of it and since fruits and vegetables are mostly water you can put a lot of fruits and vegetable powders in a little capsule or the gummies but the gummies have been amazing for so many of my parents and clients and friends and I have to say I have a quote unquote lots of clients that are children yeah (laughs) so they eat the gummies instead of because they're more fun. Mm-hmm. My dad being one of them. That's how I am. Like, I love the gummies. I'm like, okay. <laughs> I'm like, that's just nice. try it. See what happens. And he's a 70, 71 year old child. <laughs> <laughs> he loves he loves the gummies. But in that process, his arthritis has almost completely gone away, which is unheard of. Wow. And I can't say that it was a hundred percent that, but it made such a huge difference because his immune system was right filled because he's getting all this micronutrients in the fruits and vegetables in the capsules or the gummies. Mm, which has been awesome. amazing. That. I'm basically, well, I just turned 26, but I'm really like, I have the taste buds of like a five-year-old palate. So I'm super okay. picky eater and it's like the curse of my life. So uh, that's why I was like asking all these questions about juice. Yeah. Cause I usually hate eating vegetables. I just like juice them all the time. Okay. Or, um, but yeah, this is like so helpful for me because I'm just yeah. one of those picky eaters. And I swear that it's genetic because everyone on my dad's side of the family like hates any real food aside from like grilled cheese or like chicken nuggets or mac and cheese or whatever it is. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <I> mean, <laughs> yes, picky. So picky eaters. That's why I said, oh, usually kids, but quote unquote, kids of all ages. Yeah. It's yeah. Totally true. I mean, that's so true. There's a lot of adults that are the same way, but eating more fruits and vegetables just changes things. But if you can do it in a trickster kind of way, <laughs> like here, eat these, eat this candy every day. Like mom, can I have candy in the mornings? Like, yes, here. Here's your uh, here's your gummies for the day, and it, it's it's satisfying for the kid, and it's satis- really satisfying for the mom because yeah, who wants I can to tell you one of the best health? feelings in the whole world is knowing that your child is full on good food. That's yes. it. That's all I ever want, but it yes. never happens. <laughs> <laughs> like, you still I had still one gotta, bite, and now I want ice so. cream. Oh, yeah. Okay. So <laughs> going back to the basics, the fundamentals. More yeah. water. I would also say cleaner water. Like, try not to just be drinking bottled water, tap water. Like, I no filter my water like 
three times before I drink it because I'm a water okay. And I'm, <laughs> I, I'm of the school of thought that, did you know that um, tap water is actually way more tested and higher tested than most yeah. bottled waters? It's true. Interesting. That That's I did know. Yep. <laughs> nice. Yeah. Good, yeah. Lindsay. Good job. I got, I got something. <laughs> cool. You know so we lot, got, actually, you know a lot. We got water. water. We yeah. got veggies. What's next? Fiber. 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 Favor, favorite F word, fiber. Fiber. I, those are going to be the big, the big three. Yeah. And supplement. And that's what I recommend is I've actually, I supplement myself and I talk about fruits and vegetables all the time. I eat a lot of fruits and vegetables. I am not, I used to be a picky person when I was really little, but I'm not picky. I eat a lot of different things, but the FDA or the USDA says that we're supposed to eat seven to 13 servings. And a serving is the size of your fist mm -hmm. every day. Seven to 13 fist size servings every single day. I might get that I, in a week. Yeah. And that's, that's, that's way more normal. That's, that's a week. Like, okay, so maybe 10 in a week. Like that makes sense. Mm -hmm. And that's where supplementing can really be a game changer for a lot of people. But again, don't just go to a big box store and buy a quote unquote multivitamin because that's not what your body needs. It's not what your body wants. So most vitamins that are in those big box stores are synthetic. They're synthetically yeah. made, created in the lab. So vitamin C from an orange looks very, very different than vitamin C that's created in the lab. It does. Energetically, when you talk about the energetics mm -hmm. of it, it is completely different. Dang. It's important to talk to somebody. I mean, I'm happy to uh, field any questions if someone wants to email me. Um, I would love to do also just, just for all your listeners, I know you have so many amazing listeners too, that I would love to do, reach out to me by email. I'll happily give you a 15 minute health consultation, kind of figure out where you're at and see what you need, if anything. But mm -hmm. Yeah. And where can they find you? They can find me on my website is the number two, fuelyourbody.com. Okay. And the email and the email for the free consultation, right? Yep. E email, that's, that'll be there, but it's Nikki, N-I-K-K-I, at two fuelyourbody.com. So fun. Yeah, check it out. I actually might take you up on that one, to be honest. Yes. Um, I have two things I want to talk to you about. Yes. And I hope we have, but whichever one we don't get to is going to be immediately on our Patreon. So um, okay. we always extend the interviews over to those uh, diehards <laughs> that want more, more content. Yay, so okay. I'm trying to decide which one I want to talk about. But first, before we get to any of that, we have one more awesome sponsor to talk about. And that is Thrive Cosmetics. That is cause as in C-A-U-S-E, medics. It's a beauty brand with a bigger than beauty mission that goes beyond skin deep to empower women everywhere. All of these products are high performance, made with uh, skin-loving ingredients and clinically proven formulas that highlight your best features with long-lasting wear. They're all formulated without parabens, sulfates, or phthalates. I'm always <laughs> going to have fun saying that word. They're 100% vegan and cruelty-free, which is always so important. And they also give back. So for every product purchase, Thrive Cosmetics donates to help women thrive with a responsive, with a with a responsive giving mission that supports nonprofit partners with a donation of funds or products. With their causes include women emerging from homelessness, surviving domestic abuse, and women fighting cancer. Super, super, super cool. And Thrive Cosmetics are 100% vegan and cruelty-free. Girl, I said that. Amazing. Oh, well, I'm saying it again, so I don't know how to really get that in their heads. <laughs> I would love to touch on that because yeah. that is one thing that I commonly talk about is when you're eating something, your body has the choice to digest it or not. If it doesn't digest it, it mm. goes out and you flush it out. With Ooh, toilet. that's interesting. If you're putting something on your skin, your body does not have the choice if it's going to absorb it or not. Ooh. So if you're not getting something like Thrive or something that's actually good for you, one of my rules of thumb is if you would not eat it, do not put it on your skin. Yeah, absolutely. That's amazing. And the skin is like the most absorbent part of the body, isn't it? Yeah. Or one of the, yeah. So yeah. anyway, you guys. Like your, like other, under the armpits and your lady parts and that kind of thing, or men mm -hmm. parts. The lady Those parts. absorb almost things at a hundred percent. Wow. Yeah. So, so I just. stay away from aluminum. 
Yeah, yes, we, we have yeah, native, we talk about that. one of our other sponsors and oh, they good. have aluminum free and everything's like okay. natural. Yay, great. Yeah. So yeah, we love all of these sponsors. They're so amazing. Uh, yeah. Thrive also has this awesome mascara that everybody loves. Um, it's called Liquid Lash Extensions and it's sold every seven seconds. So that says something and yeah. has over 7,000 five-star reviews online. This innovative tried and true mascara gives the look of lash extensions with a smudge proof flake free formula that truly lasts all day so basically what we're saying is you're gonna buy makeup anyway if you're a woman which most of the people listening to the show are so you might as well go to thrivecosmetics.com slash vibin and use the code vibin for 15 percent off your first purchase that's thrive cosmetics c-a-u-s-e medics.com slash vibin code vibin for 15 percent off Ooh, i might have to use that do it use it I, I actually did try the mascara and um, the cleanser. Dude, the cleanser is a game changer. It's so like thick and creamy and it smells like an orange and it's so amazing. Mm, like I do kind of want to eat it a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> we actually do want to eat it. <laughs> okay. So Nikki, let's talk about, okay, what am I going to pick? I'm going to pick. Well, I wanted the, to pick up because you were talking about, I wanted to finish my train of thought. Yeah. Oh yeah. Another yeah. way. For children, because you said picky kids, right? Asking for one a friend. of the best way to get picky kids to eat more vegetables is to have them grow them. If they have a hand yes. in actually trying to do it, if they plant a seed in the ground, Absolutely. or I'm I'm a lazy gardener. I have only been successful because I found a machine called the Tower Garden. Okay, and this is this is why I want to talk to you about this because I am I would love to believe that I'm going to be like a great green thumb, but I've killed everything I've planted outside. And I want to talk to you about this Tower Garden because I've seen it on your Facebook. It's beautiful. Yeah. Oh Don't you God. keep it in your house? I right now this is okay. the first time. Yeah. Tell us about it. So I've had it for almost 6 years now. And the majority of the time I've had it outside. I lived in Phoenix, yeah. Arizona. Now I'm in Colorado where the growing season is way shorter. And so now I have it inside and this is my first test and it is going oh, amazing. But basically I'm a super lazy gardener. I am killing houseplants still. And I've had <laughs> this tower garden that looks fantastic for six years. So I'm telling you that it's, it takes care of itself, which is so important for people that have kids or lives in general that don't yeah. really work on like uh, a watering schedule. Like if I had to water something, I kill it. Is what happens. Is so what, first of all, what's in the tower garden? What do you have in there? What do I have in there right now? I have snow peas for the first time ever. I'm so excited. Oh my god! Um, Swiss chard kale. I've got um, what else? Kale, Swiss chard other greens i've got lettuces i've got broccoli growing Jeez. which another thing i've grown broccoli a few times did you know that broccoli is sweet when it's really fresh mm. it is sweet i had no idea i had <laughs> never tried it i'd never been successful with growing it always anything. tastes like peppery for me a little bit okay so it's sweet well interesting the variety that i grew and i picked off my tower garden it was like oh my gosh how, how cool that a broccoli has beautiful yellow flowers when a broccoli lets it, you let it keep growing past when you would quote unquote supposed to pick it. <laughs> mm, interesting. <It's> gorgeous. <laughs> and it doesn't take up that much space from what I've seen. It doesn't take up that much space at all because it, it is exactly how it sounds. It's a vertical kind of tower that you're yes. just picking off amazing food from. And it has no soil in it whatsoever. What? So Yep, that's the okay. other fun thing. How so do I find messy. this? I need this. I need this in my life. <laughs> go, go to my website. I actually have, or reach out to me for sure. Mm -hmm. But go to my website. It talks. I talk about it in my products. I've been in love with this thing since I saw it. I'm just like, oh my god, everyone needs one of these. Yeah, we're gonna be in touch about this tower garden. If anybody else <laughs> wants one of these, reach out to Nikki. Can you tell them one more time where to find you, just so we make sure we get it in there again? Okay, so it's the number two. Fuelyourbody.com. F U E L. Like to fuel your body. Contact me if you need to fuel your body. Got it. Love so it. So that's it. Cool. <laughs> So yeah. if it, anything, like just let this episode reignite your passion for treating your body well. Yay, and hopefully yes. everyone learns like a couple of really awesome tricks. Drink more water, eat more veggies. 
obviously growing mm. your own plants can be really fun and rewarding and beneficial for your body because like Nikki said, everything in the store is not very wholesome or trustworthy all the time. Um, what else do you want to talk about, Nikki? What do you feel like our listeners really need to know? Let's talk about keto. Keto, keto, oh, keto, okay. keto. <laughs> keto. Okay. Keto is a good one. Keto is... Uh, Just because I know one. a lot of people that are doing keto. Yes. And I know keto. what you said about keto, and I want you to say it again. Yes. Okay. So keto, don't hate me, but I'm not a fan. Why? From a nutrition degree, from the, the other side, keto can be used for certain things. Yes. I'm not going to say it's a blanket, really bad thing. But what you're doing is you're depriving your body of the most important things, which is carbohydrates. Your body runs on carbohydrates, specifically your brain runs primarily on carbohydrates. And when you're eating a lot of fats, it may make you feel good because you're eating bacon and you're eating butter and you're eating all these things that a nutritionist would tell you not to eat, right? You're engorging yourselves on these things and you're losing weight. But in that process is it makes the blood very acidic. What is the, what are the basics of the keto? Because this sounds like crazy to me. What, what so is it? Keto, keto is you're eating a lot of moderate amount of proteins, but a lot of fats, but little to zero carbohydrates. And carbohydrates are really hard to stay away from. If you have people that are actually doing keto, they know <laughs> because there's not very many things they can do. Like they can. What's the principle behind eating a lot of fat? Like, what are they saying? What are, how do they get people to do that? <laughs> because your body is designed to run on carbohydrates. So when you rob your body of the carbohydrates, so you're not eating it, your body starts to break down fat as energy. So it burns the fat faster. So, right. Exactly. So it burns the fat as energy. And right. a lot of people are really mentally, it feels good. But if you go back to our like way ancestor back into evolution, we'd go through feast and famine, right? So keto is kind of mimicking famine, but not quite as good as fasting in general, like completely fasting. Cause that's so little... talk about fasting a little bit then. All right. Well, let me do this first, but keto is you're mimicking that. So your body is like, Oh my gosh, we're starving to death. I must kill this animal. I must do this. I must hunt. Mm -hmm. I must. So it makes your brain really accurate. So you can like, Oh my gosh, cause mm -hmm. if not, you're going to die. So you start to feel really good. So we're kind of hijacking that normal system in the body that's there to save us. Interesting. And then fasting, on the other hand, fasting, completely not doing food, has a different kind of cleansing effect to the body. You actually have different, your body burns fat a little bit, but it's after three days. So fasting, on the other hand, I am a fan of doing like a three day, you can do, mm -hmm. I would say maximum of three days without actually getting a new nutritionist or a professional involved. But three days is good to actually omit because it's really not going to hurt you to not eat anything. Most people don't understand that mm -hmm. the nutrition side because it is important to keep your blood sugars up and things like that. But so no one loves to be hungry. I, I feel like my blood sugar drops after like two hours of not eating. I'm pretty sure I would just like fall over if I tried to <laughs> fast. <laughs> and, uh, it would be something that we'd, we would want to talk about first and see what you're doing and what your normal eating is. But yeah. Yes. It's still, it's something that is safe for most individuals to do up to three days. Interesting. Kind of but you're not completely not putting sweat. anything in, right? You're putting in like liquids, water. aren't you? Water. Usually just water. Yeah. The one for thing a, you can't survive water. off of. Yes. So you can survive but not thrive, right? Right, right. You can survive for three days without water. Without water. Three Yikes. days. And then it's, yeah. But I do not recommend Yeah, don't do that. Don't do that. <laughs> Hydrate so we, yourself heavily to clean yourself out for sure. We have to wrap up here. We are going to continue this conversation over on our Patreon. And if you don't know, we have a special little hub for super fans of the group and people that want to support us and also want bonus content, um, exclusives, discounts, and, you know, extended um, episodes. So we're going to continue the chat over there. Patreon.com slash hive. Check it out. <laughs> there you go. Thank you. <laughs> Everyone's like wondering where it is. Patreon.com. Patreon. Slash high vibe. Yeah. 
Now, um, also, so go check us out there. We're about to go head over there and continue. I'm also giving away, I'm doing a giveaway on my Instagram, guys, to Hypnosis Audios. Go check it out, instagram.com forward slash at Lindsay Robinson, or just type in at Lindsay Robinson and read the rules on my latest post, and hopefully you guys win. Um, Nikki, anything else for the class? Drink more water. You're doing great. <laughs> Drink more water. Stay positive. <laughs> Stay positive and focus on what you want instead of what you don't want. Oh, Absolutely. I love that. Life advice. Water, focus on what you want. Exactly. That's how to thrive. That's the yep, recipe. There you go. That's it. <laughs> I love it. Awesome. Well, thanks, guys. Thanks so much for joining us. Nikki, thank you. And we'll talk thank to you, you in a few minutes. And we will see you next week.